Now, fresh data from the Finance Ministry shows a significant shortfall in revenue from the controversial electronic transfer levy. The data shows government raked in less than 7% of its target. Isaac Ofeje, data analyst with our research, joins me in the studio uh, with the details. Isaac, let's start first with what the projection was and how much was realized at the end of the quarter. Right, and so this is a screenshot of the original document, which is you know, the finance ministry's provisional fiscal data. So what I've highlighted here is the controversial electronic transaction levy, which is E-Levy. That's the purple exactly, line. Exactly, the purple line. So if you look at E-Levy, this captures the first and second quarter of 2022. The projected revenue, obviously we can't have anything for the first quarter because E-Levy took off in May, and then we have June over there. So the projected revenue for the second quarter for E-Levy, this is actually simplified. So the first quarter was supposed to give us some 1.46 billion uh, Ghana cities in terms of, you know, uh, revenue for E-Levy. Now, if you look at the provisional data that we have, and I must emphasize that this is provisional data, we are actually seeing governments reporting 93.7 million as how much they've actually collected from the projected target of 1.46 billion Ghana cities. If you compare this 93.7 million to the 1.46 billion Ghana cities, this is just a small fraction of the total, 6.4%. You know, now, if you compare this to what was revised, so and as you know, E-Levy originally was supposed to bring in 6.9 billion Ghana cities, revised significantly downwards to 4.5 billion cities. If you do the math, that should give us around 1.5 billion cities every quarter. If you compare this to how much we've collected in the provisional data, the 93.7 million is just 6.2% of what we've collected so far. Mm. Now, Let's mm. look at the month on month, mm -hmm. uh, you know, calculations. Exactly. Um, how much, because we've done this for May and June, May right? May and June. Uh, so how much do we collect? Also as against the transactions we've seen over the period. Right. Walk us through those. So the data is actually here and this is beautiful. If you look at May, the projected revenue for E-Levy was 487.4 million cities. Now, and let's just look at this, 487 million, and this is how much government is, you know, reporting currently, provisional, 39.4 million. If you do the fraction, this is just about, you know, 8.08% of the total. June was supposed to actually decline in terms of projection to 417.8 million. 54.3 million has been collected so far. That's according to the provisional data again, which is just 12.99%. So both May and June, if you look at the, how much government has actually uh, collected in terms of what they've reported, you, we do not actually see even more than 20% being captured in the provisional fiscal data released by the finance ministry. Now, this is the interesting graph that I want us to look at. You can see the cyclical movement in terms of the total, how much we're actually getting from the total transactions from, you know, Momo. This is actually mobile money. Now, before E-Levy, somewhere around March 2022, we were around, you know, the 90 billion column. Then, transactions actually increased. Exactly. Then, right after the E-Levy was passed, with the controversies and all that, you know, in May, you can see a decline from 87.7 billion Ghana cities now to just 71.4. A sharp decline from 87 to 71.4 billion cities. Now, after the E-Levy was passed and all the controversies were around it, we saw that it you know, started climbing up again, about 8% from the 71.4 billion to now 77.4 billion. This is actually according to the summary data released by Bank of Ghana. So if you compare Bank of Ghana's data to what we are seeing currently, it means that we have total value of transactions going up, but how much government is actually getting from E-Levy, this is provisional though, but it gives you a picture of how much the, um, the tax handle is performing. There is a huge gap between what we are actually getting in terms of transaction right. and how much we are getting uh, from the tax handle. So, so what could be accounting for the transactions and what exactly are people doing? Mm -hmm. Is it that people are sending monies you know, below the 100 CD treasury rate? Well, or mm -hmm. 
that people are actually doing transactions that will, you know, necessarily not attract the the e-levy. It's clear that transactions are going up. It means that people are doing the transaction all right, but they are, are finding ways to evade, find, yes, the, to tax. evade the tax handle as you, the data is telling. Kofi, thank you very much. Let's